Did you find a better way to build a processing amplifier, too? We didn't have to. The new solid-state processing amplifier, which we recently introduced, is typical of the state-of-the-art in this area. It's the best way of doing it, of all possible ways, and that's why we include it in the BR-1100 as standard equipment. Do you really need such a fancy proc amp in a simplified machine such as the VR-1100? Well, yes, because this unit allows us to achieve simplicity where it really counts and yet gives you full adjustment capability when necessary. For example, in day-to-day -day operation, let's say playing back your own tapes, you can just about forget this proc amp. It's that kind of hands-off, no-adjust operation. But if you get a poorly recorded tape, which has to be played, this proc amp can be adjusted so that the VR-1100 will reproduce satisfactory pictures regardless of defects in sync signals. On the other hand, if you're faced with the necessity of recording material with defective sync, let's say from a remote line or microwave link, this processing amplifier restores the sync in such a manner that the material can be recorded satisfactorily. This unit by itself is so good that all the networks have installed them as super stabilizing amplifiers for their long line operations. Well, that's impressive. Yes, it's the best processing amplifier you can buy at any price. And it can be completely remoted so that pedestal, sync, and video signals can be controlled for a group of machines from one centralized location. That's the way the CBC is using their VR-1100s. Did the CBC buy VR-1100s? Yes, they bought five of them to start with for their network relay center in Winnipeg, Canada. But don't think they didn't look them over pretty closely before they made their decision. They're one of the most particular customers we have. So the proc amp finishes up the signal system. Well, there's one more thing we can point out here, which is true throughout the machine. Notice the inside of the door. You'll see that there's a permanent diagram identifying the board number, the adjustments, and the test points. This feature alone goes a long way toward making it quick and easy to maintain and service the VR-1100. In addition, each board is clearly identified on the pull tab to eliminate errors in installation. You mentioned the servo system. Yes. Now, in the servo system, once again, we go back to Ampex past practice, proven by experience, and improved to provide a better way of doing it. Ampex has always been well ahead of the field in its servo systems and time-based stability systems. Every important accessory that has extended the capability of the videotape recorder has been based on an Ampex development that has allowed more precise control of time-based stability. InterSync was the first step. An apparently impossible problem of synchronizing a rotating head recorder to an outside source of synchronization that was solved in Ampex in 1959, at least two years before anyone produced a similar device. Then, in 1960, came Amtec, which completely removed geometric distortion of the television picture, one of the most ingenious designs in the videotape recorder. So good that the basic design has required no major updating since its introduction. And again, years ahead of competition. Time-based stability is a rigid requirement in color videotape recording. And Ampex know-how produced color tech in 1961. The first and still the only proven technique for direct recovery of color signals from tape. This superior designability in time-based stability circuits also made it possible for Ampex to develop the first system for electronically editing tape with the electronic editor. And as a result of this, Ampex was able to go on and produce Editech in 1963, allowing automatic frame-by-frame -frame animation directly on tape. The servo system in the VR-1100 is the latest version of the basic Ampex system on which all of these technical and operating advantages are based. Once again, it's the best you can get. InterSync and Editech and Color are all very interesting for the future, but how does this servo system affect the better operation of the basic machine? In simplicity and dependability of operation for the user, you see the VR1100 is ready to go when you turn on the power switch without the need for continual fine tuning. Once adjusted and set up, the servo system remains stable day after day through use and idleness to the point where, as one of our customers puts it, the VR-1100 can be treated just like an audio recorder. That's what the superior servo system in the VR-1100 means to a customer. Now let's talk about the controls of the VR-1100. Looks like you really got carried away in this area. What do you mean? Well, I've seen other recorders and they had a lot more controls than this. Is this all of them? Yes, this really is all of them. 
Remember, one of the things the customer wanted was a simpler machine, and this is an area where simplicity is important. The VR1100 has only 11 operating controls on this panel. Previous Ampex videotape recorders had twice as many, and one VTR of another make, which is presently on the market, has almost three times as many. Now, how come the big difference? Aren't all of those controls necessary to run the recorder? That depends on how the machine is designed. One way to go is to put an adjustable control on everything and let the operator of the machine be responsible for correct adjustment. The problem is that the adjustment then depends on the skill of the operator, and this may vary. A secondary problem lies in the fact that a large number of controls can lead to confusion in tight operating circumstances. Well, that's a good answer for operating controls, but uh, what about maintenance adjustments? Uh, how do you get at them? Well, we've already seen the maintenance adjustments on the circuit boards. Each of them is identified and conveniently located at the front edge of the board. As far as other circuitry adjustments and mechanical adjustments are concerned, the VR1100 is probably the best example of easy accessibility you can find. Its small size and lightweight makes it easy to swing away from the wall when access to the rear of the machine is needed. All of the exterior panels are easily removed, giving easy access to the inside components. In addition to all this, the VR1100 is so designed that forced air cooling is not necessary. That means it can operate with the exterior panels removed, which, once again, is a great aid to easy maintenance. You mentioned economy of operation as one of your design objectives. Is the VR1100 actually less costly to operate than other VTRs? Yes, it definitely is. Uh, for one example, a dual speed operation in both 7.5 inches per second and 15 inches per second is a standard feature of the machine. That means that you can save at least half on tape costs and again save half on tape storage space. And it gives you the ability to record or play that continuously for up to three hours. How about picture quality at 7.5 IPS? The on the air picture at 7.5 IPS is every bit as good. As a matter of fact, Many VR1100 owners use 7.5 IPS for all their own station tapes. You see, Ampex found a better way of doing two-speed also. One way of achieving the slower speed is to break the capstan motor electrically. This results in very poor capstan stability because the motor is not operating within its ideal speed range. The better way of doing it is to use a dual-speed capstan motor operating within the ideal speed range of the motor and achieve the necessary reduction through a transmission. As a result of doing it this way, Ampex now offers capstan stability at 7.5 IPS, which is actually superior to the former stability at 15 IPS. Are there other operating economy features in the VR1100? Yes, there are. For example, the VR1100 requires considerably less power to operate than other videotape recorders. Less power means lower operating temperatures, which again means longer component life, and that's an economy. But even more important, lower operating temperatures means that the need for special air conditioning for the videotape recorder is completely eliminated. Am I going to be limited by the fact that the VR1100 is a basic VTR? No, you're not. You're never limited with an Ampex recorder. As a matter of fact, by choosing the VR1100, you removed a great many limitations. You have available to you the greatest possible variety of videotape recorder accessories. Ampex has introduced every practical, important advance in the state of the art of television tape recording, and they're all usable with your VR1100. Now, there are two important points here. We do not include them as a part of the machine because we believe that you, the owner, should have the right to choose exactly what you need and exactly what you're willing to pay for. Secondly, these are all proven products not promises. Just take a look at the list of accessories that's available now for your VR1100. Amtec for perfect picture geometry. Vertical lock for no roll switching. Intersync for full system synchronization. Electronic editor for full production flexibility. Editec for precision tape editing and animation. Colortech Ampex's exclusive production-built direct recovery color system. And no other television tape recorder at any price can offer their equal. When Ampex first introduced the VR1100, the question was asked, what did you leave out to keep the price down? The answer is, we left out extra size and weight. We left out multiple adjustments. 
made unnecessary by superior engineering and design. We left out duplicated controls and needlessly complex warning systems. We left out fancy lighting and expensive decorations. In fact, we left out anything which did not contribute to the original design objective as specified by our customers' needs. A videotape recorder of superior performance, all solid state design, which is smaller, lighter, simpler, easier to operate and maintain, and less costly to buy. But what Ampex put into the VR1100 is the thing that's more important to the customer. And the most important ingredients of all are those that no one else can supply. The know-how that made the first videotape recorder possible. The unmatched experience from which has come every major advance in videotape recording and the determination to maintain the reputation for highest quality in design, workmanship, and performance that everyone expects when a recorder carries the name of Ampex.